connection. That's the space that's really been on my mind over the last 24 hours. It's been an element of really exploring what does true connection look like? What does deep connection look like? As outliers, pioneers, and mavericks, we find ourselves moving forward in a place where we're one of the only, one of the first, or one of a kind in everything that we do, or the things that matter. And when that comes to life there, there's an element of being disconnected, or at least feeling disconnected, from others like us, or for the general population. I myself am feeling that. And one of the things that just in the last 24 hours it's come up has been really exploring what does that what does connection really mean can we be in the same room with other people can we be in the same have a similar experience with others and be just right next to each other without actually allowing ourselves to slip into actually slip into doesn't feel intentional enough to create the space for us to actually have deep connection. What I've been finding is that that connection typically starts with, with myself through the breath. And then when I'm connected to myself, I then have a chance to really be connected with others. So. <sighs> I'm excited today because we have a chance to connect really deeply with two amazing people. And in today's conversation, I can feel my face even just like lighting up, just thinking about, <laughs> about all this here. In today's conversation, we're gonna allow whatever magic to happen in this space, but we're coming from it from a place of connection and, you, and seeing where exactly that, that might lie for us here. So, Elisa, Angelique, I'd like to bring both of you into the conversation right now. Feel free to uh, unmute your mics here. And I'm going to ask, start us off here by asking a question here. First, I'd like you to think, each of you to think about what the next step is that you're trying to figure out. Where do you see yourself? Here, here's how I'll put it. What is the crossroad that you find yourself at right now? Uh, that's okay yeah it's, it's all right. it, were you silent, done with silent. your question I, that is that is that is the one and only question of the night we are done we're good <laughs> no silence is something that i'm okay with silence, silence is something i'm okay with i want to make sure we're giving giving ourselves truly to give that space but angelique if you're if you if you know what your crossroad is why don't you go ahead and share and then at least i'm going to come to well, you sure yeah well i mean i had a question to your question but I, do you yeah. do you mean professionally or anything I would say or, anything, the way that I look at this is this, we are looking at your, your next level, right? The, the context here is how do we help you play your next level game? And yeah. what I found is that for some people, it looks for some, for some it's the space that I typically, that I play in is around your professional impact mm -hmm. in the world. Yeah. However, what I believe is that how we, like, we're an integrated person. We're, we're more than just one sliver of us, right? All of you yeah. matters. And typically yeah. the things that we find it, even if it doesn't seem directly related to the professional, uh, might come back and their and, and their connections. So, bring bring what you need to in this in this conversation, and we'll just take it from there. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, I have a long answer and a short answer, so I'm gonna give you a medium one. Give, me, give, me, give us the, give us the one that, that's true for you. Don't don't worry. It's all. I mean, they're both the same. It's just I could talk about it for a while. Um, well, so I guess to answer your question, the the crossroads that I feel like I'm at is I'm um, currently, for some context, a product designer, and I eventually, one day in my career, I'd like to be director of product design. But if you look at um, the the different titles between these, it's like, you have senior product designer and then you have lead product designer and then you have director of, of product design. So you have like two, two little steps. Um, but also it's like, 
just a title and it doesn't mean anything. And more specifically, being a leader and a manager is completely different from being a designer. I feel like it's two separate paths. Like I could keep being a designer and, and get better at that, or I can do something else, which is managing people, which to me is like a different career. I mean, it's just different. It's not the same job. Um, and so I guess I think for my next step, I would want to go directly there. And I'm not saying like next month, I'll just apply to like design director level positions, but I would want to go directly there for my next career move, which might not be now. It might be like in a few years probably, but I don't know if I want it. Like, I don't care of having the title senior designer and lead designer. I just, so I guess the crosswords is, should I, should I do that or not? Or should I go through each of the steps? Should I then become senior and then become that? Or should I scratch that and like skip and go directly there? But it's not, for me, it's not really skipping. It's just going somewhere else. Um, that's, that, yeah. I, yeah. I could say more. No, yeah. but, 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 well, but this let's, is... let's, let's leave some space yeah. for it. Let's leave yeah, I'm going to leave. I... I'm going to leave some space. Okay. Yeah, but thank thank you really, honestly, mm -hmm. for, for bringing that in here. Like, um, I think we're going to be able to play 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 quite a bit with that. Like, I, I really get that myself. I'm, that's, it's part of the reason why I enjoy the next level game, because I'm like, mm. like well, what if we can get you that without having to go through all the yeah. steps? So, um, all right, so we'll come back to that then. Lisa, how about you? What uh, what crossroads do you find yourself at in this conversation? Um, I find myself at the beginning of things. Um, one is I've recently come into a place in my nine to five job where my boss sees me as a confidant. She, she specifically put me in the position that I am so that I have an objective point of view on all of our team members. I'm always the inside track kind of person and she hasn't really figured out how to leverage me, but she's, I see her actively trying now. And I think in a way, it we've been working together for a year and I think in a way it's putting me in this position of power that I've kind of been missing in my nine to five mm. and it took me by surprise it was just a conversation we had last week it took me completely it blindsided me but now I'm like wondering if I want to do something with it. And I thought maybe there's something missing and maybe that's part of what was missing. Being that like insiders, cause that's where I play really well. And it's where I've played with several bosses be before this one. Awesome. So help us here. If you had to put to, to a sentence here, how, the crossroad you feel that you're at, what, what would that, where would that crossroad be? I think stepping into stepping into where I want to be and where my boss is ready for me to be. <laughs> Got you. Got you. So if I, if I'm seeing this here, we're like for both of us, for all of us in this conversation, there's, there's a space of, Okay, I know where I kind of know where I want to be playing, and there's there's these there are the normal intermediary steps, and can I can I really just step into the place that I really want to be playing? Mm -hmm. so, so let's see here, Alicia. Alicia, I'll start. I'll I'd like to just get a little bit more clarity with you right now because um, I'm I'm seeing I'm seeing a bit of the crossroad. Um, and I think that the question in my mind is where you want to be and where your, your boss is ready for you right there. Are they, are they 
different paths or is like is like your, where your boss is ready like along the same path but but you are looking to be somewhere that's further down i think um we're approaching a synergy for the first time and it's I didn't think that synergy was possible with this particular person in this particular role. And now I'm, once this conversation happened, I started seeing patterns like, oh, of the way she is and the way I am, the way we can really start to complement each other. But I've been a little bit impatient for that to happen. And I think it's just her timing versus mine. I was ready nine months ago probably and now i think she's starting to be ready now so i see it as coming together and maybe making my life a lot happier because of it so if this was going to be an incredible conversation for you right it could be related to the crossroads or not but like where would we go Angelique, while, while she's thinking about that, I want you to be thinking about that yourself here, because I'm probably going to come to you with the same thing here. I, I, okay. Before we got on here, I said the premise of this could be a life-changing conversation. So I want to make sure we leave, leave space for that. For me, I don't know if, if I need to continue on this path, <laughs> because it's just a realization I had maybe like five seconds ago, and it's not something that's like been burning in me where I see it as like a turning point that would be meaningful. It might just be like a nice, a nice to realize along the way of something bigger. Cool. Cool. Yeah. That's like nice, nice milestone. We have, we have mm -hmm. that landmark. We have that landmark here. So let's, let's get you, let's get you to the turning point. Let's get you to an inflection right now to, to something that, something that matters. What would make this an incredible conversation for you? Um, maybe, sorry, I think no, no, no. figuring out what my next level is. Yeah. So let's like, let, let's play it. Cause I think, I think this is that they were, they were in like a similar space here. Right. So figuring out what your next level is. question that comes to my mind right now for you is this um what is your unconventional truth what's the thing that for you you believe that that it may even seem like so apparent but the rest of the world doesn't see it and what i'm not looking for i'll tell you right now is not it's not like some like idiom that that people might, might go off and say <laughs> or that, that, that might just like get spouted out at, at dinner if you had to right now talk about like the like the one thing that like is really important to you that's really that's like really core to to who you are that maybe most people misunderstand or most people don't even don't really don't even really grasp what would that be i want to give a different one than i did in my questionnaire but i don't know what it is so can you come back to me yeah i'm, I'm good with that. <laughs> cover that all right ah Angelique, let's go, let's go, let's go your way. And I'm going to meet you in the meantime right now, Lisa. Okay. You're, you're already on it there. Thank you. Um, yeah. I need to, mm -hmm. yeah, I need to kick out my cat because he's been yeah. very, this is all over my face. Yeah. The, 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 this, this is just how it is, right? <laughs> oh we said, we said a group experience. Like it looks like, it looks like the, the cat's a part of this here. What's your cat's yeah. name? Yeah. Domino, but he's not part of it. He needs oh, to okay. chill out over there. Bye Domino. Enjoy chilling out. <laughs> so, so for, for us here, you talked about the product director versus taking those next steps, right? Mm -hmm. You also mentioned something, you mentioned leadership, you mentioned manage, being a manager, you mentioned like making your own a, as a designer as well. If you decided to be, I guess the, the question in my mind is like, like, what does the product director give you? That you don't have right now um i guess when you're a design director you're kind of 
you're managing people and you're helping other people grow versus trying to do it for yourself basically i mean and it's important to do both like i feel like you have to have some experience of design or at least in your field i'm I only know my field, so I'm talking about what I do. Um, you have to have some experience in order to like help other people grow, but it's also kind of like, I don't know. I like that it's selfless and I, I, I care about, I want to help other people develop their own skills and, you know, they're probably going to be better than me at design. And that's the point. Like I, I want to show and teach someone the passion that I have for design and I, I just want to help them grow. And that's, it's kind of what you do as a manager. I mean, I know there are two parts. There's like the people aspect, like I, you can help people grow. And there's also the responsibility and like decision-making aspect, which I think would be my weakness, or at least today is. I know that today I'm good at mentoring people and helping them out and helping them grow I'm just not so good at like you know if it comes to me to make the decision can I stand by it and can I like defend that idea and I'm learning how to currently learning how to do this so I feel like when when I'm in a good when I feel like I'm in a good place with that then this and this is when I'll make the move or something like that if that makes sense yeah, oh yeah. I mean, like I'm, I'm in a place right now where I'm building out a team for my business, um, and like I've gotten support in, in individual times, but now I'm really looking at it and saying, what does it really look like for me to get supported? What does it look like for me to to play from um, from not just play beyond just myself as as I'm building a business that goes beyond just myself? Uh, yeah. Lisa, I, 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 like I'd be curious for you. Did you did you also go through like some uh, a similar transition? You can just maybe share with a, a show of hands. But that that transition of like figuring out, okay, yeah. So so what what you're going through right now, it's it's I, I definitely get it. And I think and you're in good company when it comes to it. Nice. What I'm hearing here, so I'm going to take out. You had mentioned this earlier. You talked about like different titles. I'm going to take out titles for for this year, like design mm -hmm. director or manager. Like all those things seem less important to like what I just heard here, which seemed like mm -hmm. a, a call to like like I want to help other people develop their own skills. Yeah. It's like I actually want you to be better at design than I am. Right? Like I mm -hmm. like, but like there's this element of, of wanting to, to help others grow. Yeah. And that's and and that in and of itself is its own skill skill set. Yeah. So you mentioned here, though, that um, you, you talked about decision and I'll be I'll be really curious about this here. This does not need to be within the professional context right now. Right. This can be in, 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 the, in the broader scheme and mm -hmm. we'll trust that we'll bring it back as we need to. Mm -hmm. But you talked about like standing by standing by decisions and, uh, and that's that's a universal uh, application. So let me ask you right here. Take a second to, or take, take some time to think about it. There's no rush yeah. here. What's one decision in your life right now that you really feel like that, that you've been putting off making? And let me, let me actually, I want to make sure, make, make sure this is going to impact, like give you the biggest impact. What's the most important decision that you've been putting off right now? Um, I don't, I don't think I really put off decisions. I don't think, um, I guess th the thing that comes to mind is moving to Barcelona, but it's more of a time frame. I gave myself about four years. And I set a reminder on my phone for literally in four years from then, which was like January 1st. And I, I wrote, we're moving to Barcelona this year. So it's going to like show up on my phone in five years or four, I forgot. Um, so I, I don't know. I don't think I'm putting it off. I'm just, I'm giving myself more time for this because I can't move tomorrow. Well, I guess I could, but. My partner doesn't want to move tomorrow. So yeah. we're waiting four years. Um, I did mean design decisions though, specifically. Okay. 
Tell me more. Uh, about design decisions or Barcelona? More like, so I, tell, actually what I, I'm really curious about what's the difference between the design decisions and, you know, life decisions, like li like moving, moving to Barcelona. Uh, what's the difference there in your mind? The size and also one matters to me way less. So for example, um, um, as a designer, you often have to make decisions. Okay, this is going to work like this and then show it to people. And then people are going to be like, why does it work like this and not like that? And then you have to explain why and you have to like stand by it. And sometimes I don't feel strongly about, I feel semi strongly when I decide of this. And then people are like, well, actually it would work better if we did it like this. And I'm like, well, yeah, you're right. You have a point. And so, so then I, I, I don't call this losing because if it's like, it's for a good reason, then it's a win for everyone. But it's more like, I'll, I think I told you this like a few years ago when we spoke, um, you want to have strong opinions loosely held as a designer. And it's a fine balance between like, no, I'm, I'm really, we're really doing it this way and it's my way and and kind of like letting everyone step all over you. Like, okay, like whatever you say, we'll do it this way. And then it's horrible. Um, so I'm trying to find the right balance. And I think I have, you also have to like pick your battles. Like sometimes I know on a page, I really care about, I don't know, this button doing this thing. And the other one, I don't care so much, but I'll still decide. And then when I show it to people and they like disagree with both, one of them, I'm like, okay, like, sure, let's do it this way. But the other one, I'll be like, okay, I'll spend all my energy defending that one. Um, ultimately, though, I try to, <laughs> I try to think in terms of like, I don't know, like grand scheme of thing, it's not going to stay that way forever. It's just a button. If people can find it and click on the thing and do the thing that they came to do, then it's fine. You know, like sometimes I, we get very like, as designers, we like care a lot about our work and it's like, well, it has to work this way. I have a plan. I have this plan in my head and I thought about the whole experience and I've showed it to people and nobody knows it's a link if it's not underlined. So we have to underline it. And, and then people want to remove the line because it looks better or whatever reason. And then I, t I tend to, I think I got a lot better. I'm like, it's fine, whatever. I'm not saying like, I don't care, but it's like, no it's fine. It's okay. Yeah. Like the world can move on if there's no line under this word and you forget this. It's funny, but you forget so people have meetings, ask... hour long meetings about a line. Oh, so okay. just, yeah. I know cause I'm in them. <laughs> yeah. No. And like, and so I'm not, I'm not in there, but it, like there's, there's a, there's a couple of different things that are coming up for me. One of them mm -hmm. is this. Okay. I'm listening and just have to like go do this yeah. thing. So what I'm hearing from you is like, it's like, when we talk about your, all right, there's a, there's a few things here. The mm -hmm. first one is that this really feels like it's on its way. Like when you talk about this here, it feels like, you know, like how, like how you would need to be, um, to be showing up as like, as, as a director, the design director, you know, you know, like what you would want to do as a manager. And you've even called out some of the, the places where we are, you're, like most challenged with it. Right. And the yeah. decision to stand and make, making decisions and standing by it, you know? Um, I'll be, I'll be interested in exploring that just okay. in just a little bit here. Yeah. Um, but there's an element here of, as you're saying this here, I'm like, this feels very, it feels like there's an opportunity for you to continue to come from the place of being the design director versus like trying to work at your way up to it. And Angelique, like the question I have for you is like, like. What I mean by that is you talked about like these various steps along the way, like, like the, I forget what the individual yeah. steps are, but, um, yeah. there's just that, like levels of the, yeah. experience. Yeah. And, but it, but it felt, it felt like to me, like, like there's, there's one levels of experience as like, I'm getting better as a designer and the mm -hmm. other levels of experience of like, I'm getting better as a leader. Yeah. Right? I, and like, yeah. and to me, they, like, it feels the way that you presented it, they feel like two, two different tracks, right? Even though they're they not are. necessarily as separate, they're, they're two different tracks. So like yeah. in this conversation here, it seems pretty cl like, I'd be curious for you, but like, it seems, is there one that you're feeling? No, it seems pretty clear to me. I'm just going to just say it. Like, it feels pretty clear to me that you're like, all right, I want to go down the leadership, the leadership track I, on this year. Yeah, I do. I'm more 
it's more like, how do I do this? Because it's not conventional. But I also feel like you shouldn't follow the, no one becomes a CEO by being like, oh, let me just go up the ladder. Like it doesn't, there's no, CEO is not at the end. You know, you just go for it. You just break the rules. You do something differently. So I feel like I have to do this. I just don't know what to do. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't really know. Like, I just, do I just apply? Do I like, what, where do I go? You know, like, I don't. Okay. All right, cool. So let's, 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 slow, let's slow things down because the, the, yeah. it, it's very really tempting to come out and be like, oh, this is what to do. Like, I'm probably not going to answer those questions because I said, well, I'm not here. I'm not here, to, I'm not here to give you any answers. Right. I mean, fine. you know what to do. Like, worst case scenario, you go on Google and you find an application and you like apply, like, you know, you know what to do. Right. That's, that's not, that's not really what's, what's going on here. So I want to, yeah. like, the, the places, the places that I think would be really interesting for you here to, to play with here is if you have a pen and paper around, that would also be pretty helpful. But I think, I think it's yeah. like, what does being a, med a leader really look like to you? What does it mean to you? And yeah. what is a level of leadership that you're playing at right now? For what I'm hearing from you right now, is yeah. it, it almost feels like in your mind, being a leader, um, it means that you can't like have the space for other people to, to, to you can have a decision. Oh, sorry, let me rephrase it. As a leader, you need to be able to have a decision, stand by it, and like, like, no matter what happens, like, consider to say this is exactly the way that, that that it goes. And I'm really curious if that needs to be a hard line, or if more more than anything else, like, we need to find out what's Angelique's spe like specific blend of leadership, and how do you yeah. want it to do that? Because you can be a leader in your role right now. You can be a leader in any like, the, like you said, the title doesn't matter. It's the it's where the way I like to look at it is like, with the next steps, you're always trying to get to it. You're like, oh, I got to do this, then I can do this, then I can do that, then I can do this. Where where I'm hearing that you really want to be playing is actually a place where you're coming from that. So you're like, okay, I want to be the leader eventually. So rather than me doing all, like being a designer and doing all these other things that's not being a leader, let me start, let me bring leadership into everything that I do mm -hmm. going forward. That's my invitation to you overall, where it's like, let's not yeah. make this like later down, down the path. Let's start bringing that in into here. So I'm going to go back to Elisa really quickly here. And yeah. what I'd like for you to do is really to, to, to spend some time and take a, um, take a sheet of paper, divide it in two. Yeah. On one side, it's um, what I believe a leader is. Yeah. All right. And on the other side is how I'm showing up right now as a leader. Okay. Okay. So let's spend, let's spend some time doing this and the, and the, and the element here that we need to, that, that will be really fun for us is to see like, how can you come from the place that you want to, that you want to be at on a regular basis, All right? Okay. Cool. Okay. So let's come back to you here. I'm excited. By I'm excited the way, about, it's like uh, killing me. I mean, I'm so appreciative of you giving Angelique the space that you are, because yeah. I would be like, here's what you need to do. And like product design is very close to what my industry is. So I have so many opinions and thoughts, but I'm going to reserve them <laughs> for now. Cause mm. I don't know if it'll serve you very well. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I, I, I want to hear. There, I'm like, I'm like, oh. yeah. well, I want to hear what she has to say. <laughs> and it's, it's really interesting. Does so she get I'm to like... say it afterwards or no? Yes. I'll write, is, I'll write been... the thing. Yeah, yeah. This this is something that, that's been that's been really uh, that I've been playing with, and like that I'm trying to figure out in the group context here. Let's do this. Like normally, I would I would like shut it down. I'm like, no, this is about group. like I want her to get to her own her own things yeah. in here, right? And like I'm playing from a different place myself. I, like let's let's see what happens. So Angelique, I think that the thing here is if you're open to this here, um, like like then I, then let's let's create some space for it. But here goes how I would like to play this. Here we go. If there's something that that like so Elisa's made made it available that like she has some some information that, that she could share some advice or some 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 guidance there right what I would like for this to be if it's something that you want Angelique I'd like for you to ask a powerful question of of Elisa like again there's a lot of things that you can just Google right so don't like yeah. like let, let's not yeah. let's not ask the question here that's going to be about the, the the googling she's made she's she's raised her hand as like I'm someone that that that's willing to to help you in this space here. If you're going to ask the, if you're going to ask a question that has like deep consequence for you. Yeah. 
the question that like basically the question if you can get guidance on the thing that is most holding you up what's the question that you have for elisa and elisa would you mind answering that and then if there's anything else you want to add afterwards feel free but i think i want to make sure that we're that they were really playing in yeah the of, of truth and angelique answers. just like for context so i work for a software company we have ux ui designers but i've also come from a marketing background where there's a lot of designers i have a lot of creative people in my life and mm -hmm. creative leaders so i've seen and know intimately people at various levels right so that's kind of where i'm coming from great I'd, I'd love to hear more about it but I'll, I'll um i have the tape i have the two columns and then i'll write a question for you okay great thank you thank you for thank you mm -hmm. for playing that way and lisa thank yeah. you for for raising your hand and uh and bringing that into this space here really, <laughs> i'm like i'm like i'm really interested in seeing where this goes um <laughs> All right, great. And here goes the thing. We, we also, you also get a chance to be connected with each other. This is when, when I choose to do these types of sessions, I would like to find a way for us to continue to have deep connection afterwards. So um, if we, if we get to the point that we don't get it in the, in the time that we have allotted, you also have a chance to be connected with each other too. All right, cool. So let's, let's come to you again, Elisa. Like, so mm -hmm. I'm going to ask the question again mm -hmm. for you. What yep. will make this an incredible conversation? So I've been really, oh, for the last, I don't know, nine months or so, longer, probably, most, most likely like years longer, um, I've been really playing or with the idea of the power of friendship and like how do we take our friendships to the next level? And so my important truths is that I think you can have, I see, I see there's power in coaching. I see power in retreats, in small group settings, all of that. I'm not discounting a time and a place for those things, but I think that you can get to a very similar level in your friendships if you are willing to go there and if you are connecting with the right people in the right way. I mean, that's like a big way of saying it. And I don't think you have to pay for incredible life-changing conversations at all times. And a part of me from a coaching perspective thinks if people could be really good friends to each other, imagine how much more powerful coaching sessions could be. Well, let's 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 get out of imagining. Let's uh, let's, let's step <laughs> in here. Teach teach us a little bit here. Tell, like, um, I'd love to be really great friends with you. You know, I I, I honestly would, um, and I'd love to create. And like we were talking about deep connection from the very beginning here. Mm -hmm. so tell me a little bit here around. Um, yeah, like I'm just curious about the power of friendship, and just just coming in from this place here of like, let's just be friends as we go mm -hmm. through. Let's, let's play with that then. <sighs> Yeah. So where do you want me to go? I'm I, like, I guess, I guess right here, like, I'm, I'm curious as to, you know what it is? I feel, I feel that the, okay. So now I've gotten your, I'm, I'm hearing the power of friendship. I'm gotten that if, if people are willing to go there, that, mm -hmm. that, that's your important truth. And I'm still on this, this, this question of like, what would make this an, an incredible conversation for you? I think if I could start to find no, I don't need help defining those like, this is what a good friend is, right? I can do that on my own. But maybe, like, what can I do with this passion that I have? And how can I spread it without writing a book? <laughs> I don't have a book in me. I have random thoughts that I haven't really put together various experiences. I have a very idealistic perspective on friends and it's something I'm personally exploring. Um, so I think maybe that's about as far as I've gotten. So it would be cool to take these like jumbled things, like maybe put something around it and define it a bit more. 
what makes like the power like you brought up a couple you brought up a bunch of different things why is this something that's even important to you i know you to be someone that is awesome and can like create from a whole lot of different places um, mm -hmm. with a whole lot of different people why is this so important to you because i find myself it's it's important to me because i feel like people in general are missing out and sometimes i'm also missing out and so there's and it depends on what stage of life i'm in sometimes i'm completely empty and i'm in need of those deep friendships sometimes i'm overflowing um and i see so many people that i know i encounter so many people that are almost always empty and i i want to a part of me wants to help fill them up, but I don't want to do like have projects. <laughs> yeah, I no, I to I totally get you. I mean, um, there's a lot of what you're saying here that really resonates. I, like, I talk about outliers, pioneers, and mavericks for a reason because, I, like, my my whole thing was it's like loneliness and belonging and inclusion. Yeah, um, and I'm like, who are some of the high achievers, high performers that might be experiencing the, these 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 things mm -hmm. as opposed to you know a lot of people immediately come out and like well, why don't you just do like a nonprofit and help like i'm like yes <laughs> that is true and yeah. there's also there's, there's also an element of like i would love to help the people who want to help those those people <laughs> yeah. that's that th those aren't my people right now yeah um so tell, tell me there, there are a couple of things that, I, that i'm interested in, in in exploring here um you mentioned like you said that there are a lot of people who are missing out and you yourself are missing out. And I have like, it's like missing out, missing out on yeah. what? Missing out on, on truly rich experiences through friendships and not like deeper experiences, I guess you could say. So I can give you an example. This weekend, I had a friend come and visit and we did things that we like doing. We're both foodies. We had, we ate at all these amazing places and our conversation was pretty, we've known each other for a long time. Our conversation was pretty surfacey. We, we, uh, and yeah, it was pretty surfacey that it was real. Um, but I kind of realized like, you know, I'll probably, I'll, I'm going to stay friends with this person, but the type of places I want to go with my friends is different. And I think if I could like figure out like when those moments are, I could have, I could have probably made it a magical weekend, a magical life changing weekend. If I had like called out the things that I already know to be true and taken us to a place where I think this friend probably could have gone, but I kept it at a certain level. And I think that if I know that I can go way, I've, I've had other weekends with other people and probably the weekend before way deeper, way more meaningful. Like let's really get down and talk about life. Um, so I guess I know that I can be guilty of it too. And, and I'm putting aside like a time and place, right? You're not going to be like, tell me your life all the time, but there are some, yeah, there's, I feel like I'm, I did her a disservice for not like allowing us to go there. And if I could like bottle that up and, and like for myself and for others and be like, Oh, look, here's a little tweak like we could all make then like when you go have like your girls weekend like if you make this tweak you can take it to the next level like let's just find some like fairy dust for friendships yeah yeah there's a bunch of different things that are coming to mind like and i gotta be real with you right now um when you talk about like we can talk about that that situation that the, the last weekend there uh and, and you mentioned like surfacy and all that like i'm living out in singapore i've been here for a couple of years now and it's like 
finding friends and re- like the friends where you're like, we can have on one day a really deep, powerful conversation um, just because we want to. Um, mm-hmm. or it's because someone brought up something that led us down this path. Um, mm-hmm. And then the next day we're like, okay, we're just talking about like the latest movie and that's also just quite all right. Yeah. Um, that, that's, it's, it's, a, it's a question that I've been, that I've been asking, asking myself. And I think it, feel, it feels right now for me, it's like, it's like before, before it's like packaging it and taking it external to you. Cause there's, the last thing you said almost like, I almost had like in my mind, um, cause I, I'm thinking about this from like a business, like how can you sustain, like if there's elements of sustaining in here, it's like, oh, helping other people who are looking to build like these kinds of co- co- uh, connections have different methods and different paths to go ahead and tweak and like make their, make their girls weekend into something awesome. Right. And it's like, yeah. you're, you're, you're supporting people who are, who are looking to build deeper and better friendships. Mm-hmm. Um, and I would say like both sides are relevant for me, yep. the business right. side and the personal side. All right, cool, cool. I think that for now, let's, I, I feel, it feels based on our conversation that, that the place that will serve you more in the, in the business is around the personal side, mm-hmm. right? Cause yeah. all, it, it feels well, like these, these are things that you're going to be doing and then sharing and giving people, giving the people an opportunity to, to deepen their power of friendship, right? <sighs> I'm going to share something with you that has been like running through my mind since, since we came to Singapore and my, my wife and I were having a conversation. We're like, we're two really friendly people. Like, why are we not like, we, we're surrounded by awesome people, you know, but why don't we feel like we have like deep friends, you know, like deep friendships. And she asked the question and uh, it got me thinking and some things that came to mind for me were as adults, we do things very differently than we do when we're, when we're children. Like when we're children, it's like you're in first grade and you're like, hi, my name is Nemo. You're like, hi, my name is Lisa. I'm like, do you want to be best friends? They're like, yeah. And then it just yeah. happens. Yeah. Like there, there's no, there's no, and then as adults though, what we say instead is like, we, we use a completely different language. It's like, uh, I have to see if I can trust her. I have to, I have to see if I like, we have to spend enough time together and then I'll decide to be like, then I have to see if like, if, if she can, if I can be vulnerable around her, it takes a lot of things for me to like, to, to see out to, for me to open up. So I'm not going to open up there. And it's like, it's like we, there's, there's, it's basically the opposite Mm -hmm. of, of like the approaches that were taken that, that got us friends. So I'll be curious for you, like. Yeah, what, what's what's really been coming up has just been like, all right, how do we create space where we can start with vulnerability off the beginning, like from the beginning? How do we how do we create space to actually allow ourselves to, to, to deepen in there? And it's that question of how do we create space that I'm curious with about you for right now, which is in the context of what what was the difference in context that that made one weekend a pretty surfacey weekend with someone that you th- that that could have gone there with you, mm-hmm. you know? uh, and the other weekend with someone where it's like actually no this very naturally ended up being something that was of, of deep friendship. I know one thing that I've been noticing about myself is the decision to share something that's deeply personal to me that doesn't sound deeply personal to anybody else. So I, um, I, one of my, I have a lot of new friends. I live in a new city. I mean, a lot, I have three, no, four, four, four new friends, good friends if, in the scheme, of, in the space of a month. One, we had the typical, it was like our first dinner. We, we met at a social thing and then we're like, oh, let's hang out. We had dinner. And she asked me a very typical adult question. If you're talking about in those terms, like, what do you do? What's your job? What's your, what's your career journey like? And I made this really fast decision in that moment to like overshare and to tell her all the things normally, like, even if we were in this context, I would give you like a very cleaned up reader's digest. And I went and I said, well, first I did this and then I did this like 20 years ago. (laughs) And then I went through all the things and I was kind of embarrassed, kind of wondering like, am I taking up too much space? Am I talking too much? And 
but like I wanted to share it all. So I basically was like, Bleh. here's my career journey. And she was like, oh my gosh, you have the exact career journey that I would have loved. And what about this? And then we were like able to, she was able to pick and choose little things. And then when it was her turn, she did the same like blah over sharing. And it like, it didn't take a long time. You know, in the moment you're like, oh my gosh, this is taking so long when it's really like two minutes. Um, and so she did the same thing. And then like our conversation, we actually, then we kind of like naturally, I mean, it wasn't being in super intentional. It was like that just a decision. We naturally started doing that about everything. Like, okay, well now let's talk about relationships and now let's talk about this. And now let's, and then it was like, what felt like oversharing for like a first pizza date, you know what I mean? Um, was actually like real connection. And every time we've hung out since, which has been maybe two or three, it's like, we can go right there with each other because we have all the background. And like, we just subconsciously decided to trust each other. And that right there, yeah. that right there the trust element, right? This is, this is like, and it's odd, but I've literally been like, just been working through this year. It's like, that's the element that is so important. And I think a lot of times people skip over. And what I'm hearing from you is that you did something that allowed you to get to trust. You, you built up trust, like right off the bat. It was like, trust is going to mm -hmm. be here from the beginning. I'm going to trust you with my overshare. I'm going to trust you with that, that like, Honestly, when I hear you say that, like, it feels like you just showed up. It felt like, it feels it feel like there was like no mask, no veneer, no, no filter, no way that like, at least it's supposed to look like. And said so you just showed up in that conversation and you're like, right now, what feels good to me is to like, just share, you mm -hmm. know, and, and you're calling it overshare the same way that like, you know, like, like. You're like, but it was, but then you actually even like temper in the same sentence. You're like, no, but that was actually only like two minutes. So I guess it was <laughs> like, you know, so, so, so I'm hearing right now and I, I want to just kind of call out some of the language that is yeah. on here that, that, that you're using here where it's like, to me, it feels like you had a, a, a genuine share with someone, you know, mm -hmm. and this is not something that, that can be easily replicated, but it, it, it set the tone right off the very beginning. Mm -hmm. and it gave you it gave you a place a place to come from, like the place to, to go and all your other conversations and it's really interesting because i feel like this is really, like pretty connected to where like Aunt, like angelique is at right now where like for her it's leadership where am i coming from when it comes to like the type of leadership i want to be and i think it's really similar for you right now in terms of like from the friend from the friends level here like yeah what i i have been and this is what I, it, i've been here for two years working on friendships and knowing people and all that stuff. And what I found is that when I started a friendship in the surface level, it takes forever to get to anything deep. Mm -hmm. and, and like, and there, and there are people that I've seen that I'm like, Oh my God, it's gonna be so great. And we just like, we just never cracked that, that barrier. And I'm someone that's willing to, to share more, yeah. more, more, more than most, most people. So I'll be curious for you, like, If you showed up from the place of friendship, which might mean that you might feel a little bit embarrassed, that you might feel like you're over oversharing, that you're taking up too much space. Like to me, when, when you say those kinds of things, I'm like, oh yeah, that's like, if you're coming up from that place there in, and, and I'm going to say this, not just in like, in the initial conversations, not in the conversations that you build up to, but almost like you have you're you, you've been in the coaching world so i can use it like a like there's a filter for clients it's a filter for friends um mm -hmm. but it starts with how you're showing up into it yeah what resonates about that what doesn't what what feels like what feels like you can, you can well i think what it comes down to is the decision to show up no matter what where it goes like, and I get like to show up unattached, I guess you could say too, whether, and if that person reciprocates magic, right? If they don't, it could be either that they just need more time or it could be that you need to go find another friend. Um, but those magic moments, I think that we all have 
again, I'm going to use the word, the power, like the power to have them like on an ongoing basis, regularly, wherever you are, whether you have things in common or not. Um, I've been a little intentional being in a new city. I've been trying things out and I have like kind of set some parameters around the types of people that I've done that with because I'm not just going to go to Joe Schmo on the street. Right. So like if I've met them, like already at a place where there's common interests or common values or whatever, like that's a, that's a, like my entry point. So I have to have an entry point. And then I've just noticed I made a conscious decision to overshare with that girl on my career journey. Another person, I made a conscious decision to share stuff about past romantic relationships that for her was not a big deal. But for me was like, Whoa, I don't tell everybody about this. So it was like, maybe uh, I, I hate like the vulnerability thing, but that's really what it was. It, it, like, like that's, <laughs> I mean, like this, let's call it out. That's what it is. Uh huh. Like, there's, there's an element of this here that like, like that's it. Like if like, that's, that's really where it, like, to me, it's like a friend, a friend versus an acquaintance is someone you can be vulnerable with. Mm -hmm. Like, like that's, that's the whole point. It's not like we don't have people in our world, but like, can we call them up when something goes bad in our world? You know, mm -hmm. can I call them up? Like, like that's a test there. And it's like, well, how do you get to that? Well, eventually something bad's going to happen. And do you call them or not? Yeah. You know, like, like, like they're not going to know if you keep, if, you, if it stays out there and it's, uh -huh. and it's really, there's an element here around vulnerability like that that to me is is what what is shining through the most here when i when i say like coming from a place of being a friend it's like it's a lot of time a lot of times you want the good part without having to take without having to do the other stuff or we're like i'm willing to take two years or longer such that someone is going to it's like a game of chicken in a sense <laughs> mm -hmm. it's, like, it's like are you gonna are you gonna be the friend Okay, now that you showed up as a friend and brought something vulnerable, I'm going to show you how awesome a friend I am to yeah. like hold that space for you. And I think that I, I, there's an element here of like of leading that in in a different leading that from from a from a different place there. So yeah, and the risk of sounding cliche and the risk of, of doing all these things, it's like I I think there's a reason why vulnerability is actually getting more space now than it has in the past because we've closed ourselves off to actual connecting on a, on a human level. Mm -hmm. uh, to actually connect to where to where it really is for us here so like my invitation for you here would be to like look at this here and see like the oversharing part every time you make you said like you have a bunch of conscious decisions i feel like the conscious decision here is like are you going to show up as you, mm -hmm. are you like are like and if in that moment it meant oversharing or just sharing like letting mm -hmm. them see your life like cool if in another moment it means something completely different that's fine too because like you have more to you. It's not, it, it's not a tactic of like, I can make deep, meaningful connections or deep, meaningful friendships. If I overshare so for some people, it's the wrong thing. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's, but I, I think, and, and honestly, what I've been finding around, I've been practicing a lot of vulnerability and authenticity. It's like the more that I'm actively trying to be like, what's the authentic thing to do here? Or what's the vulnerable thing to do here? The, the uh, less vulnerable and less authentic I actually come across. Oh yeah. If you try to make it, yeah, and that's where that it gets tricky because I mean, like earlier, I was like, just fairy dust, you know, like that's not authentic, but um, it's not. It isn't a game, <laughs> but it is. It is like a point of being, I guess you could you could say. Yeah, and like it could be a game too. Like, at, like honestly, I've been. I've been getting better friendships in my, during my month of uh, of two months May than I had like all in the two years beforehand because I was like, this is just me. And if you can handle it, awesome. And if you can't, <laughs> awesome. I'm not going to spend my time somewhere else. Yeah. You know? And and here goes the thing. They still know that about you, though, right? Like they know that they can always come back to you if that's the case, if that's what they're if, if they're looking for someone who can handle it in a level that, that they can't or that, that they weren't ready to play at, at that time. So you don't lose in that, in that matter. Mm -hmm. there. Right now it feels, and I'm going to go back to Angelique in just, in just a second here. Um, and Angelique, as, as, as I'm coming over to you, I'd love for you to, to think through a little bit around 
this element of coming from, right? So this element of coming from the friendship, it might be easier for you to like see in what ways can, uh, can Elisa come from friendship, not for you to like share it back, but for you to be able to see like, what does that actually, what, what, what might that look like if I was going to do something similar for me as coming from as a leader, right? So as we wrap up in this, this portion here, Lisa, I, I do want to kind of just check in with you really quickly and I'm going to come to you just a second, Angelique. Um, I'm getting where you're coming from around like, like, the, and this might be a business, this may not be like, this might just be like right now, you personally yeah. just have this need of like, I really want to have, I want to be able to go on a weekend and have it be awesome and, and all that. And that, that might be, that might be what, where this lands right now. If it does become a business, like, you know, you mentioned one thing and I could, I could already see, like, see so much coming and people need connection. People, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people out there telling us to do things that aren't actually building connection right that aren't actually building friendship and there's a lot of power in it in the next week here like i think i think no actually what i'll do is this let me put a pause on this here and go, go to angelique here but i'd love for you to, to think through now that you're seeing this here and i would love for you to think through like what would it look like for you to actually start from the power of friendship and every in, in the things that you're doing going forward to not to not have that be something that's like surprise let's like here it is but like generally speaking like i'm a powerful person and i'm i'm a powerful person because i come from the place of friendship and everything that i do and like true friendship not like not not a not a, a facebook friend kind of mm -hmm. thing you know and i would look and and if, if there's time here i would also look at what are the distinctions like what are the distinctions between like the the person in your network and the actual friend Mm -hmm. and if you if you can start to to see what those distinctions are, then we can intentionally start coming from those places. Yeah, and it's I'll tell you right now, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> like like it yeah, can I was be just really gonna say like actually like these are things I've been thinking about, and I guess I keep stopping because it's a challenge, and then yeah. I just stop. Yeah, it's it is a challenge. I'm gonna say like it's a challenge. It's uncomfortable. It's confronting. Let me let you know like if you're choosing to go down this path here. It's, it's like there's parts of it that's hard and I don't want it like this. This is the stuff that you that when you you read something online and they won't tell you they're like, we just became fast friends. It's like, no, I had to like I had to put I, I felt awkward. I felt embarrassed that I might have been talking too much. I felt like I was taking up too much space. And if I want to make someone a, like a friend of mine, like I can't take up space it has to be about that. And it's like all these things. get in Yeah. The way. And I think like, gosh, if I think all those things and I'm pretty good at being a friend, then like, what is someone who hasn't really thought about it or put it into practice? You know, like, yeah. okay. I just, before you go, you said, um, start from what it was, what it looked like to start from the power of friendship in all things. And then you said a distinction and I, I missed yeah. it. So, th so the distinction here is like, basically, um, there's probably like three, th there's three levels of these things that tend to look at things, negative, neutral, and positive. So let's go with all three for here. Um, what's a disempowering friendship look like? Okay. What does like a neutral friendship, and that's probably more of like a connection or someone that you're like, oh yeah, you're at another barbecue. Cool. Like we're talking. Mm -hmm. And what it sounds to me is like you're looking for the steps beyond that. What does a powerful friendship look like? Yeah. And being and taking some time like to sit down and and define those three things. Mm -hmm. If it's helpful, look at three look at three relationships that you have, and, or find three people in each of those different buckets, and just kind of describe describe what's happening in each of those relationships. Okay. And if you and if you do that, that that will start giving you some clarity. And the point here is like right now, what we need to do is start getting understanding the nuance. You talk about the power of friendship. Now we need to start understanding what is the power of friendship. And then if you, and then being a model of that, living that out in the world mm -hmm. and being able to see where, where, where people might slip. That sound good for you? Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, cool. Thank you. I'm gonna go back to Angelique here. Angelique. Thank you for playing, by the way. Let me just let me just acknowledge you. Like, I, like it, there, was, there was a bit of time that was spent uh, with Elisa, and I, I want to acknowledge you for <laughs> like for really like creating for, for being willing to, to be in that space as as we serve there. Yeah. As we we're going on, I was pointing out a couple of different things. Oh, sorry, go ahead. 
I didn't say anything. I said okay. yes. <laughs> as as we were going on, I was pointing out a couple of different things that that might be interesting for you to to look at, right? That might be mm -hmm. like like a different way for you to be able to look at the same thing that you're going on through a different lens. You might find what's you might find an exercise of what's like what's bad leadership, what's okay leadership, and what's like special leadership, like you might find a, a similar exercise to be useful for you. Let me, I'll, I'll love to check in with you on, on some of the things that, that you wrote and, and some of the things that came up for you. But let me just check in with you for in this conversation so far, right, with everything that, that that's happened in this conversation. Um, what's been the the biggest like, insight or question that's come to mind for you? Um, does it count if I mention something that you and Elisa talked about? Absolutely does. That's, that, um, I love, that's why I love the group, the group area because I, it's like it's always working. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, when you were mentioning, you allowed yourself to be vulnerable with your friend, or like you know, you both decided to trust each other. Um, I I guess that was the thing that resonated with me the most because I also have a hard time making deeper connection i have really close friends from high school because we were in high school and we stayed friends since then so they're like my family and i know they'll always be here for me and then i have very close friends that i hang out with very often i would say like i have one best friend where we go there and we talk about all those things but then every other friend that i have is like you know they're close and they're great friends and then we party together but it's not as close and i was like i wonder why that is and I was, and you were telling, you were talking about this and I was, I was going to tell you, you have to give it some time, you know, it takes time to have close people, but it's that. And also it takes trust. And I was going to say, I don't, I don't trust people. I mean, it's not like not on purpose, but I, I've noticed that I don't trust like a hundred percent. Like I, I trust you that you're not going to kill me. I trust that you're not going to steal all my data. You know, it's, it's like very basic trust that I have in people, but then I, I'm not like, I don't trust that you're not going to hurt me one day or, you know, whatever, whatever it is. I just, I don't I have trust issues. And, and so maybe that's why I don't have deeper friendships to answer your question. That was the really, thing really that quickly. resonated with me the yeah. most. Thank you for sharing that there. And I, and I sure. Think, like, I, and I, I want to acknowledge you for trusting us here to say that. I, I want to. I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah, and 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 that's why I'm acknowledging you. Like I'm not like I like I'm not someone that just like like blows smoke up people's asses. Like I like I know how to be a cheerleader, <laughs> but I really want to be a, a, a champion for you. And I see that I see that you in that even in that statement you're stepping into that. Even in that in, yeah. in that statement, so I want I want to acknowledge that. And Elisa, uh, I like to call out something here, um, just based on some of the things you said. Trust, right? Like if you're looking at this from beyond yourself, like there's there's work to be done right now to figure out some of these things. But how can we help? If we want to get if we want to get to the true uh, power of friendship, there, there's a trust barrier. And how do we help people? How do we help people? Uh, go go past it. There's things in what Angelique just said here that really, um, when you that really kind of get to to the heart of it all. I I am like it's weird. It's like I'm one of those people who are like trust. You get a hundred percent trust and then you lose it, and it's like and I'm like like you start with a full tank, and then <laughs> like and then you like then like, you can either chip away. And some things you do like if you start off with having really like if you if you ask me what I do and like you're not you don't care when I open up the door like. The tank diminishes by like 50%. I'm like, dude, I, I, I gave you the chance, you know? Um, so let's, let's take that. Let's take that over to you now. Right. Thank you. Thank you for playing out in that way. Um, for you right here. Right. You, yep. Yeah. Oh, I, I was going to say for me, people, their tank are already like 20, it starts at 20%. And that's the basic, I trust you that you're not going to kill me or mm -hmm. steal my stuff. I start my tank really low on people and then it's like you have to prove yourself to like go up. But even when it does go up, it never really reaches more than 60%, I would say. Mm. I'm working on it. Yeah. And, 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 like, and, and, and like we're, we're, we're calling that out here. So thank you. Thank you for playing with that. And let me just check in with you here. It is a tank though. It is, yeah. Oh, I like, 
it's funny. I have, I, I talked to my wife. I have tanks all over. I have an energy <laughs> tank. I have a friendship yeah. tank. I have a love tank. Like yeah. when we get into arguments. I'm like, look, here goes the yeah. thing on a good day. Like, like it would be totally cool. But my love tank right now is at like 30%. Like I just need to like it's like I need I need and then I then John Mayer comes in my mind where it's like love is an action or something like that I'm like I have to love you more like I have to do the act of love it's it's like really trippy, um, yeah. but it, but that's it, it's a really fun place to come from, mm -hmm. so from that element of of a place to come from right, it might be that in this entire conversation the most meaningful thing that you got was around the element of trust and, and how do you want to play with that? And just even seeing that there might be a different way to approach friendships and a different way to come here. I'd be curious around like how trust comes into play with your decision to show up as a leader. Could you repeat that? Yeah. I'm curious, you know, just, just on the, the, the topic of trust, right? And we were talking a little bit about your, your leadership and what it would look like for you to play at your next level. How does trust come into play? with that. And I'm actually, I'm actually just now, I don't know. At, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? So what, what, what I'm going to do here is I'm, I'm taking a look at the time. I want to just check in with, with you all. Do you all have five extra minutes here for me that otherwise I can end the conversation right, right where we are? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's take, let's take five minutes here. And Angelique, I'm going to, I'm going to let us just let, let that question kind of like sit in the bit, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and take that on as, a, as another question for you here, where it's like, okay, where you, you said that, like, generally speaking, you have basic level of trust, mm -hmm. right? I trust that you're not going to kill me and I trust, and, but I don't trust that you're not going to hurt me one day. All right. Yeah. Uh, and, I, and I'll be curious if there's any tie in with that as to how, in, in the ways that you choose to show up as a leader in the ways that when it comes to, the, from a work perspective, when you make decisions, whether or not you're willing to stand by it or not. Uh, from the way, from the way that I'd be curious how trust plays a, a role mm -hmm. in your leadership there. And this is not something you need to answer right now, but yeah, we get to percolate on. Yeah. With your list that you wrote here, right? What was the one thing that stood out to you the most that you feel that if you decided to bring into your leadership today would make the biggest impact for you? Uh, mm, can I pick two things? Yeah. Yeah. So I wrote in the column of what I believe a design leader is that I don't have is I wrote is confident and vocal, meaning can convince most people in the room. And the other one was doesn't mind having difficult conversations. And I don't do both of those things. I, I tend to avoid conflict as much as I can, um, even if it could be a good thing for me to have the conversation. It's not conflict. It's more like, oh, I don't feel like saying that. It's uncomfortable. So I'm just not going to say anything and suck it up. And sometimes if I just said it, then it would be okay. And it probably would get better for everybody. Um, the other thing was, yeah, can convince most people in a room. I'm not very vocal. I'm very shy. Um, I don't like speaking in public. So if there's a lot of people, the more people in a room, the more I'm like, oh, I'll just hold on to that for a little longer. Like I'd rather just email people or slag people. Hey, here's a thing I thought about. Like I'm, I'm, I'm the person that comments the most on documents. <laughs> but when it's, th when it's said out loud, I'll, I'll just say nothing. And I'll just, I'll just comment on the doc. It's fine. I don't have to say it right here, right now. <laughs> yeah. um, so that, I, I guess I would want to comment out loud and that people listen and they're like, oh, actually, that's a good idea. And, and if they're not agreeing with me, that maybe I could make them change their mind. No, here's why this is important, you know? Um, I think something very important when you're – a manager or like a director level or like I guess it doesn't matter, like a leader if you want um is confidence people tend to like gravitate towards people that are most confident just because it's I don't know it's how society works yeah. and I'm not a hundred percent confident all the time so but I know I'm good so it's like, well, this guy's confident, but he's full of shit. So it's like, why does, you know, and boom, it's, you're boom, just, boom, 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 right there, 
right? Like, I mean, this guy's confident, but he's full of shit. Like, you know, yeah, you don't like, need to be right. You just need to act confident, but I can't fake. I'm not a fake person. I don't fake yeah, stuff. Yeah. I so don't want to, I don't want to fake confidence. I want to be confident. And I don't say fake it until you make it because I don't want to do that. No, that's that, that literally, <laughs> like, I have, I have like a big X on that one. I'm like, it's like, it's like the worst thing for me. This is the, yeah. this is why I talk about coming from because like faking it till you make it is like, I'm at level zero and I'm pretending yeah. that I'm at level three. And yeah. That, as opposed to like, actually, just I'm at, go like, there. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it's like for me, what is being level three? What is like being level three? Let's go back in the tank meta like thing. Mm -hmm. This is tank one, right? There's tank over here is okay. I'm going to pretend to be a level three over here in tank two. You're showing up as a leader and you're doing what a leader does at like the most at the, at the very first level, right? Mm -hmm. You're, you're commenting out loud and that's like, that might be it. You know, that <laughs> might just be like, you know what? I don't need to, I don't need to argue with you. I don't need, I don't need to be right in this case. I don't need to convince you. I just know that for me, when I think about like mm -hmm. the leader that I really want to be in the world, I comment out loud. And if you want a lot of my details and all that stuff, look at all the docs. I comment all the time, you know? <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, so like, so, so, so there's, so there's that element there. Um, and I think, I think, I think what's, as we wrap up this part of the conversation here, right? I think what I want to invite you to is, is the two things. I think, I think it'd be really fun for you to comment out loud and you, you let me know if this is something you want to take on. It's an invitation. I do. In the next, <laughs> let's say over the next two weeks, right? Find five times where you can comment out loud. Yeah. I, that, and, and not only find it, but like comment out loud five times. All right. Right. And, and here goes the thing, like deal, deal with the uncomfortable one is she, see what it's like, 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 like pull that out there. And where I would even go with it here is at least one of them, at least one of them should be something that is like, that is truly uncomfortable to say. And it doesn't mean you need to comment out loud in front of a group, like choose, like do it in a way that that's safe for you. Like it might be having a conversation afterwards or whatever it is, but like, Find, find at least one of them in an in uh, area that makes you uncomfortable, all right? Yeah. Is that an invitation that you'd be open to, to taking on? Yeah, it's usually in group settings. If it's one-on-ones, I can talk to people about how I feel okay. about some things. Okay, great. For the most part. Okay, great. That sounds good. And I think, I think you know, we'll, we'll follow up. I'm going to invite you over to um, a private Facebook group there where I, we continue some of these conversations that continue to support people. Um, oh, nice. There's elements in here that we're going to leave this as the invitation, but I'm also going to plant a seed in your mind, which is like, what if you could be an even more powerful leader because of the way that you, because of the way that you're already showing up? What if like, without mm -hmm. having to be this, it, it feels like, it feels like there's an image of being a leader that's just not you. And yeah. I'll be really curious, like, and, and, like for you to take, take some time to say, if everything I did right now was an awesome, amazing style of leadership. How might that yeah. change things? How might I do yeah. that intentionally? How might I now comment it's to the point where like, when they see my comments, people are like, they, they, they go into a room, they print out your comments before you get <laughs> into the room. And they're like, here goes all the comments that Angelique made. Like, <laughs> this is like, these are the things that we need to address, mm -hmm. you know, because, because she's leading from that place. So I'm, gi I'm giving you the low hanging fruit is yeah. let's, let's play a little bit. Let's, let's see what it's like for you to like comment out loud. But the real game for you, the real next level change comes from being able to take the things that you do and take those things to the next level to take your right. leadership, however you are and bring it into it. Okay. Right. Yeah. I'm awesome. writing it down. Sounds good. I'm going to go to you, Elisa, and then I'm going to, then we're going to close up for today. Elisa, what's for you, what's been your, your biggest insight from today? Biggest insight, um, biggest insight has been that there's a something here. <laughs> like there's like, there's a pot of gold and I don't mean it from a monetary standpoint, but there's like this element of trust, I guess, is a bigger deal than I want to make it. 
and I'll just leave it there. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. I'm, I, there, there is a pot of gold in all the figurative, figurative, and in a monetary standpoint. I don't, and I don't think that's a bad thing. Like, mm -hmm. like I like I, so. I, I want to like I would have loved to have gone there with Angelique with like her trust stuff, and I'm not a trust expert, but you know. Um, and at the same but, time, you are, because you live it yourself. Like you have yeah. your expertise on on trust, and I think that's where that like my one of my general things is like there are no experts out there. They're just a bunch of people who are appearing confident and full of shit, and some of them <laughs> actually are actually pretty good, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. But like, the, like my, one of my earliest things, I was like, I'm like, the only thing that makes an expert an expert is the fact that they say that they are. Yeah. That's it. I gave, I gave each of you back the expertise in your own life at the beginning of this conversation. Cause a lot of times people come to me and they ask for answers as though mm -hmm. I'm the expert in their life. All, somehow I'm supposed to be an expert in the life that you've lived every single year <laughs> for multiple decades. I'm right. supposed to know what's next for you. Come on, take off, take ownership and let's play from there. Cool. So, um, so with you here, I think I, the, the, the invitation I have for you, Elisa, is just to, is actually to continue to play, to pl to practice coming from the place of, of the powerful friendships and to take the time to fill out that, that sheet with the three different areas, mm -hmm. disempowering the neutral and the, and the, the powerful friendships, and then let us know, Okay. like take us on this journey with you. All right. Is that an invitation oh. that, that you'd like to accept? Yes. All right. Awesome. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna close out all together and then we'll just, we'll wrap up this whole conversation. Thank you so much. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. You never really know where things are gonna go. And we have deep connection. So many things are, power, are, are able to come from that. Connection looks different for each and every one of us, but creating this space and taking time to see what does it take for us to connect with ourselves and connect with others and to be the person that's willing to go where other people won't go, to be the person that's willing to start off from vulnerability and creating that, that level of connection, that level of friendship, that level of trust, and using that to come from, from there. If you are able to do that in your world, how might that change things for you and everyone else around you? If you're interested in exploring that, if you're interested in making connections with others, if you're interested in, in having a powerful experience, like, let me know, send me a message over at Nemo at Nemo and let's continue the conversation. All right. It's great talking to you and I'm happy that I've gotten a chance to connect with you. Take care.